Hey everybody, welcome to Cartoon Vegas, booth number four. I'm your host, Tillman, and uh, today we're going to be drawing old Luke Skywalker. Uh, so I was watching the, uh, the Last Jedi trailer, and I noticed a couple really good shots of him that I wanted to choose from. So, uh, let's take a look at those right now. The first shot is Confused Luke. Uh, I really like it. Let's watch. Inside me has always been there. What is this? Is it a flashlight? Because I could use one. There is no power grid on this island. Uh, that's Confused Luke. Uh, next is Scared Luke, which is also pretty interesting. Let's watch that. I've seen this raw strength only once before. It didn't scare me enough then. It does now. Yeah, I know. Me too. I like that one. Let's go with, uh... Scared Luke Skywalker. In five minutes or less. I mean, maybe. I don't know. So, big blue eyes, there's nothing to it. Except you have to draw, if not perfect circles, something similar to them. And since uh, Luke here is basically blonde, you can't use really thick lines to do it. Uh, so I find the best way to draw a thin line and kind of control where it goes is to do it as fast as possible. You don't get to control exactly where it goes, but it's close enough and it's better than making a, a really thick line. Uh, you'll notice that men with mustaches, the mustaches always kind of form an emotion of their selves, of their selves on their own, and uh, Luke's mustache is decidedly unhappy. His mustache just makes a frowny face all on its own. It's awesome. Unhappy, scared Luke. Sorry that it's come to this, buddy. Boy, you would have thought after that those first few movies that uh, things would have worked out better for him. But I guess that's life when you're a uh, when you're an intellectual property. Mark Hamill did wind up with a pretty epic beard. You'll notice when I color, there's a ton of different colors in that thing. And when I say ton, I mean three. There's three different colors in his beard. It's going to make that part kind of challenging for me, but... Oh, who am I kidding? This... I didn't choose him because he's difficult to draw, I just chose him because he's fun. There's a little bit of challenge in drawing it quickly, but... Not as challenging as... as uh, other people, other faces. I like his flowing cloak because it is also easy to draw. I mean, it's not easy to draw well. There's a lot of texture in it. I'm not going to draw any of that texture. But it's easy to draw quickly and kind of just suggest that, yeah, he's got a scarf. <laughs> because he lives on an island with no power grid. Seriously, I know he has the force, but just how? Did you even see any goats on that island? What does he eat? Confusing. I didn't do this on purpose, but I love that he's super pale here because that's going to make this part of this job a lot easier. I mean, there's some skin tone. That's, that's about it. Usually, I, I put more 
red in the cheeks. I habitually like started to do that right now. Actually, there's red around his eyes. We're going to do red rimmed eyes and sallow cheeks. Oh, uh, he's looking sad. He looks he looks uh, homeless more than he looks scared in my version of him. Which honestly, he lives on that island. Did you see a house? There was no house. Homeless old Luke. This is a man who would wash your windshields for a, a quarter. <laughs> Gotta get those bright blue eyes in there. That's probably where a lot of the lightness comes from. Not sure we're gonna hit five minutes on this one. And then you'll notice that his hair is brown and gray. Mustache is blonde, brown, and gray. Beard is white, gray, and brown, and blonde. There's a lot going on here. This is where all our time is going to be taken, is coloring his hair. Eyebrows are pretty simple, though. Simple eyebrows. Again, I could more accurately reflect all of the different colors that he's wearing around his neck and body, but uh, I don't want to, and I'm not going to do that. I'm not being too exact with the colors in his beard and mustache, except for those two pretty great gray mandibles or, or pinchers he has going on there gonna try to be sure to leave out enough color to make those look about right. And then, I don't know, do we have time? Probably not. Some foreboding dark blue, but only in the top part, reaching down. Did I mention that uh, Cartoon Vegas booth number four is filmed entirely in my beautiful and luxurious garage? That's why you hear my neighbors right now uh, running and fixing their trucks. They're a lot of fun. Time. And that's it. Kind of a... Maybe not the scared Luke I was going for, but there's a, a, a homeless, hungry, kind of unhealthy Luke uh, just ready to get back into action, I think. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Cartoon Vegas booth number four. See you.